<laughs> She's nicked me car. So you might ask, why is Jan driving my car? Well, there's a reason behind it. Right, let's get ready to clean the car. Look at the colour of Jan's car. Look at the colour. Mine's not as good. But uh, we'll soon sort that out. And then I'll tell you the story. And believe me, this is a good story. So, in the video, you see at the beginning, Jan driving off in my car. And the reason why is because Jan said that if, if brakes in a car felt a little bit spongy and she just had brake pads done on the car. So, we asked the question, is there any reason why it's like that? Since the brakes have just been done. So we took it back and uh, he had a look at her and he said, could we do something to do with your clutch? Because your clutch seems, appears, whatever, low on the car. So, we phoned up quite a few places. And if you've got a Kia Sportage, be warned. How much do you think the cost of a clutch and replacements to be fitted on the car. I'm not going to tell you yet. You'll find out the price towards the end of the video. So, we located the part, well, I never located it, somebody located it for me. We had a quote, now the clutch, apparently, now, is a dealer part only for a clutch. So is that how they're getting the money off us? Dealer parts only, so you can only buy the parts from the dealer. So we found this mechanic and he said, if you can, he said, I can't fit you in yet. Told him what job we did. And he said, let me see if we can fit it in. So 45 minutes later, we get a phone call saying, if you can get it up first thing in the morning, we'll do it for you in between other jobs. So I thought, Brilliant. I said, will it be ready in three days' time? I said, because we do need it. He says, I'll make sure that we get something done for you. So that was one good thing. So we took the car up and he had it for two days. And he said to me, well, he phoned me up, gave me a phone call and said, can he ask you why you think it's the clutch? I said, because it feels... I said, I don't drive it much, so I don't know the difference of it. 
I said, but Jan drives it and she feels that the clutch is pretty low. In between that, we get a phone call off another garage. More of a private garage, not a dealership garage. You're looking anywhere between 1600 to 2000 pound, which was a saving of eight, nearly a grand for a clutch. Anyway. He said he doesn't need a clutch. So basically, I said, well, how much do I owe you for the work you've done? He said, well, I've looked at your brakes. He said, and your pads, you've had new pads on, and it's basically got to adjust to the disc. So new pads, old discs. He said, I said, do I need new discs? He goes, no. I wouldn't advise it yet, but when you do change your pads again, change discs and pads. So that's what I'm going to do next time. So I will get to it, I will get to it how much it cost and how much it should have cost if it was going through this mechanic, top notch mechanic, I must say. So he's been in the trade for nearly 25 years. So he knows his things, he knows his stuff. He went through a few things with me. He drove up, went to pick the car up, and uh, he said to me, there's nothing wrong with your disc. But now I know, because I did look to buy, try and find a clutch, and I, could I find a clutch anywhere? No, none in stock. Dealership only. So there was none in stock. You might think, or oh, try your parts. I tried them, not in stock. So, tried a few more places, find out how much there was. And just for the clutch alone, um, like I say, Kia was looking for 1800 quid plus VAT, just for the clutch alone. So, it's a deal. I don't know if it's our Kia dealership or it's a mall, but apparently, a few prices. I couldn't just say I've gone off one, I've gone off three different places, four different places, including Kia, how much it would cost. And the cheapest I got was you're looking at you won't be short of 1800 quid. And like I say, at the end of this, I will tell you, and I was shocked how much people, dealerships, and garages are charging now for a clutch. I had mine done, and my clutch was 650 quid, which I thought was about right. And you probably agree with me, put a comment below if you think that's about right, 650. But I had my gearbox, if you remember, on the previous video, which I'll put it up at the end of this video, that what I had done on my car. And uh, I paid over 1,100 quid for a gearbox, and my clutch done on my car. So, be warned if you have got a Kia, how much things cost at dealerships. And the thing is with a Kia dealership, when you go to have it serviced, that's shocking. As long as you've got a stamp from a reputable dealer, a reputable mechanic, and he's using the right oil, right filters, right air filters, oil filters, pollen filters, as long as he's using everything, what Kia would use and stamps your book, your warranty is fine. But, big difference. For the service on this, which was 486 quid from Kia, and we got this done for half that, with a stamp. So, it's a no brainer. So come back down, what I said to the lad, who, the mechanic who was doing the clutch, I said, I can't find one of these clutches anywhere. I said, and they are like rocking horse, to get hold of, rocking horse, you know what I mean, to get hold of. I said, so, can I buy it? He said, what for if you don't need one? I said, just in case. Now I know there's quite a few people who I know who've got Kia Sportages 
And if it helps them, well, I've got a Kia Sportage clutch for a two litre all wheel drive. So I bought the clutch and the uh, bits to go with the clutch. So I've got the full clutch just for backup, just in case she needs it. And if you have a look at the car now, it's looking a little bit cleaner. Still not finished, still got to do the wheels. And put a spray wax on it instead today, I'm not polishing it. She goes to do the wheels. So that's how much Kia charged, 2,800 quid. Jan was ready for scrapping car. <laughs> but she wasn't, she was all about buying a, a different car. But 2,800 quid, and she's well chuffed now. That there's nothing wrong with it. He's done all the checks on it. He's adjusted a few things for her, and he said it does feel a lot better. The thing is, you don't come across many people who are so honest with you as a mechanic. And we found one. We found the absolute perfect person perfect mechanic so so honest i know you're looking at me with this hat on the weather's dropped here in a couple of weeks it won't matter because we're away i'll probably bring some hats back home with me we'll give you a little bit of a hint kia charge nearly three thousand pound to have a clutch Put in Kia Sportage, two litre all wheel drive, which is Jan's car. That was one quote. Or is it dealerships that's putting big prices on the services and the parts? Are they holding back the parts so you have to get the work done there? Is that fur? Is it sneaky? Yeah, I think it is sneaky. I think it's very sneaky very very sneaky if you've got a car like that and basically all i can say is hunt round for a if you can find a good mechanic keep him honest to god keep him because the one we found he didn't even want anything for what he'd done on the car he said no he said i've not basically done the job what i said i was doing because he didn't need doing obviously you, I give him some money because the honesty of him and yeah I have recommended him I've recommended him to anybody because he didn't have to do that he could have just fitted the clutch in and charged me anyway and said that's what it needed doing but he didn't he said he didn't need a clutch and, and that is what I'm so shocked about that the honesty side of it I don't think I could be so honest. I'm hoping I can. And I think, to be honest, he's taught me something which I'll use. Because now, the honesty what he's given me, he's going to get a lot more work from me. I'm going to recommend him. And we've always said when we was in car sales, you can have, sell a car, to one person and he doesn't like what you've done and that he'll tell everybody you sell a car to somebody who's well made up with it and they tell one or two people but you sell a, a bad car and that reputation goes further than selling a good car but this way I'm going to make sure that he gets a good reputation because honest to God I've never ever known anybody to be so honest I'm shocked well and truly shocked made up as well obviously so hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button like sure don't go and get your car service with the dealership because they're going to put the price up you can use a, a reputable mechanic with his own stamp as long as he's using the same oil and filters and so on and so on with the car it's still covered under warranty
I said, I've drove it and it doesn't feel any different to me, but she can also still a change with the brakes. So he said, right, it's not your clutch. So, so I thought to myself, how can they say it was a clutch? Oh, nearly forgot. The price of my clutch was, if it would have been done, £550. That's all it would have cost. £550 to fit a clutch. And that's including the clutch, including VAT. Done. Dusted. 550 From 2800 and nearly £3,000 to 550 Rip off Britain doesn't even come into the question, does it? So that's what it's gonna, it would have cost. So I bought the clutch, kept the clutch, and obviously, if we ever do need it, we've got it for that car. If I sell the car, I'll sell it with the clutch, unless I get another Kia Sportage, two litre. So, be warned. Bye again. See ya. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon on the next one. I've got to go and clean my car now. Get Jan's wheels done, clean my car, and then call it a day. So, thanks for watching, and bye for now.